Hello, this is Ryan Simmons from Cartoon Solutions. I am here to uh, show you how you can animate with uh, character packs and with symbols. This character here is made up completely of symbols. Uh, if we double click and go into the symbol and we select, we see he's a bunch of different symbols here. So, to get started with him, we need to break him apart. We, with him selected, we're going to hit Control B. We're going to break him apart. As you, you can see the change there, what we're going to do is we're just going to animate his arm waving. So, I've selected his arm. I'm going to copy it, which is Control C, delete it, and I'm going to add a layer, and I'm going to put it on the layer. Control Shift V will paste it in place where it was. So, this first layer is with the, where the body is, and I'm just going to call that body. And I don't really want to mess with that right now. I'm going to lock it and I'm going to put it on top. Now, to animate this, we need to, we can either animate it the way it is, we can rotate it and motion tween it that way. But what I want to do is I want to be able to bend the uh, different body parts around. I want to be able to move this wrist apart from the lower arm. Again, if we go into the symbol and double click, we'll see it's uh, three different symbols. So, with it selected, I'm going to hit Control B for break apart. And then what I want to do now, with them still selected, I'm going to right click and choose Distribute to Layers. As you see up in the timeline, they just each got placed on their own layer. They were on layer 2, which is now blank, so I can delete that. Why is it important to have each symbol on its own layer when motion tweening? The answer to that is because if you have more than one symbol on a layer and you try to motion tween it, it's not going to work. Uh, one symbol per layer for motion tweening. So, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go in here and I'm going to check out where my pivot points are. With the select, I'm going to hit uh, the hotkey Q, which is the free transform tool, and I'll see if I were to pivot it now, it's going to pivot around the center of the hand. We actually want it to pivot down from the wrist, like that. Okay, And we'll check out the lower arm. That one is fine. And the upper arm, we want it to pivot from the shoulder. Okay, so now he's ready to go with his pivot points. This is going to be the first keyframe, so I think I just want to bend this wrist a little bit back like that. Okay, now if I go up here, I can add frames by selecting and hitting F5, add keyframes, or sorry, add blank frames. And then here I can select all three layers and hit F6 to create keyframes. Now, now that I'm still here on frame 5, I can select these. You'll see as it selects all three, it gives you a new pivot point. I want to move that to the shoulder, lower these down just a bit, and then just click this arm and this hand. I shift selected, holding down shift to select both of those. Again, it gives me a new pivot point for both. I'm going to move that down here because I wanted to pivot from the arm. And move this down, click away, click this one, and rotate the arm down, or the, sorry, the hand down like that. So there's our two key poses. Now what I want to do is I want him to go back up into the keys right here at frame one. So I can select all of them. I can right click and do copy frames, and then select over here where I want them to be pasted, right click and go paste frames, and there they are. Okay? So, now I can motion tween them, and I can motion tween them all at the same time. I can select here from the tween menu. I can choose motion, and clicking anywhere in between these keyframes, I can do it again over here, tween, motion. Okay? Now if I want to keep it even, I have more space. I have an extra frame here, so I can just select that and hit Shift F5, which will remove frames. Okay, so I can make a movie, see what it looks like. So there he is waving, and it's a little bit robotic and because the timing is really even. So what I can do is I can actually play with the timing, the ease in and out. If I select, again, all three in between, I can use this easing slider. Um, let's see, I want to slide, I want to ease in, I want to ease into this middle pose here. That's, that's kind of a backwards, real, in real animation terms you would say, ease in, but here you have to set it to out, flashes a little bit backwards, and then here we're going to do the reverse, 
to in. So we have out and in. Okay, and let's see what we got. Make our movie. We've got a little more uh, variation on the timing, which is good. Makes it feel more natural. The problem is, is it's kind of sticking right now when it hits the top of his head because frame one here, this these keyframes are also over here on frame nine. So essentially we're seeing them twice and they're not moving. So we can cheat it here. We can select this, hit F6, make new keyframes right there. We can select this back part here and hit Shift F5 and just get rid of them. Let's see how that looks. So there it's not sticking anymore. And it looks a little more natural. So that is how you can get started with character packs and how you can animate using symbols. I hope